What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going, going to go over Code Forces round 667C, yet another array restoration, okay? So you have, they have, so there's a secret array, you don't know what this array is, and you need to restore it, okay? There's some facts you know about the array. All the elements are distinct positive, all right? They're greater than zero, they cannot be zero by the way. They're greater than zero, they're distinct, so there's no repeating, okay? The array contains two elements, X and Y. And we, we know that they're given to you, X and Y. And um, if you were to sort the array in increasing order, the difference between any two number is going to be the same, okay? So basically, this means it's an arithmetic sequence, okay? Because if we sort the, all the numbers and subtract it, the differences are going to be the same. So that shows it's an arithmetic sequence, actually. Okay, uh, it could have been proven that any array exists under the constraints given below. Uh, yeah, that, that is true because... If you just add one certain number of times, you're going to get X to Y, by the way, um, regardless what happens. So, yeah. Okay. So now what is the problem? We need to restore an array that has the minimum po possible maximum element. So we want to minimize the maximum of A1, A2, up to AN. Okay. So uh, before we start this out, basically, we're given the arrays. We're given the... So here, we're given we need to create distinct elements of arrays, right? So these elements are all distinct, okay? Um, basically, we need to create an arithmetic progression, arithmetic se series, where we add a certain number of element, certain number of times, and then we're going to get from X to Y, right? So we're given X and we're given Y. These two are certain numbers in the array. And we need to create a sequence of uh, N elements, right? We have N elements. And uh, basically, we want to minimize Minimize, oh, um, yeah, minimize the maximum number, the maximum number of the elements. So the minimize the maximum number of elements of A1, A of N, okay? Okay, so what does this mean? Basically, we want to minimize the maximum number of elements of uh, the, the max number of A A1 to AN. Okay. Okay. So before you start this problem out, um, think about what you what does it mean by minimizing the max number of element, uh, the max element. They're basically saying is that based on the number of elements, the elements in our array, we want to keep the maximum element as small as possible, right? So this, let's say Y is our, uh, I don't, I don't want to say, say Y, uh, but basically let's say we have the two elements X and Y, okay? And um, let's say Y is our maximum element. We want to minimize Y as much as possible. Although you can't really change Y, right? Because it's given to us. Um, but we want to minimize this to make sure the maximum element possible is as small as possible. It's kind of like an oxymoron, but we want to minimize the maximum element, Okay. Because we could change the maximum element, technically, you could just change it anytime. But uh, yeah, based on whatever array you do. Okay, so how do you do this problem? How do you do this problem? Okay, um, what did I do? First of all, uh, first I looked at this. Minimize the maximum of A1 to AN, okay? Let's look at a first problem. In the first case, 2, 149. Well, if you're given two elements, N, right? Your two elements, or n is two, and we have one and 49. You can't really change anything about it, right? Um, your array is just going to be this itself, right? Um, you, you, can't, you can't change anything at this point. You're given two elements, there's two elements, so you just have to print, print the two elements, right? You just print, print both of these. So that's the first basic case they gave us, and that's actually good that they gave us. That's just one and 49. All right, here's the hard part. Let's say n is 5 and um, x is 20 and y is 50. All right. So in the second case, n is 5, x is 20, and y is 50. We won't remember, we want to minimize this. So we're given five elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want to create a progression, basically a progression, starting... Uh, 
where you if you arithmetic progression where you add a certain number of uh, number every time here remember based on here if you sort it in decrease increasing order right uh, you subtract them they're all going to be the same so it's an arithmetic progression right so uh, if we're going to minimize minimize uh, min minimize whatever the maximum element of a1 up to a n what do I do well if I want to minimize it the maximum element let's assume that the maximum element is going to be 50 right so we start at 50 here and then we have 20 is our smallest element well then how do I how do I come up with the progression here well it's simple we just take 50 minus 20 which is 30 and we divide right the number of spaces that it takes so in this case it would be 50 minus 20 which would give us 30 and we just have to subtract uh, divide the number of uh, spaces it would take so in this case uh, there's a uh, how many spaces from 20 to 50 it would be 1 2 3 4 and uh, 30 divided by 4 it doesn't give you an even number right it's uh what is that that's like 40, 40, uh, eight, I, I can't do my math right right now. Seven, 28 to, uh, 7.5, right? So in this case, you would have to add 7.5, 7.5, 7.5. And we can't do that, right? That's, it's not possible. We can't do that, right? Um, because our, our, it's, our sequence is arithmetic. Sequence is arithmetic, right? Remember, uh, it's, it has to be an integer. We're subtracting them. It has to be equal. So uh, what can you do now? Now you think about it. What can you do now? How about we move our maximum element of y down by one? So instead of being um, instead of being uh, twenty, uh, all these numbers, right? Seven point five. Let me. How about I just clear it? And as five, remember, here uh, we have twenty and fifty. So x is 20 y is 50 so now how about how about i decrease it down by one right so now we have 20 30 40 uh one two three four five so remember last time we set our y as our maximum element on the far side and we couldn't get a progression there how about you move it down by one i'm gonna set my y here now okay Let, let's see let's see if we could subtract by it find if we can make a progression out of this, right? If we move our y by down by by this in case, uh, a maximum element, uh, a maximum number does increase, right? Y is not our maximum element anymore. But A, we want to see if we could get a progression here, right? So now let's look at this. 50 minus 20. 50 minus 20 is equal to 30. And how many spaces are there be between 20 and 50? 1, 2, 3. Ah, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Huh, this is an even even uh, number that we could add. Uh, not, not even, this is an integer that we could add. We could add by 10 every time. 20 plus 10 would give us 30. 30 plus 10 would give us 40. 40 plus 10 give us 50. 50 plus, uh, and then at the end, 50 plus 10 would give us 60. Hmm. Do you guys see what I'm doing now here? If we were to simply just set Assume y is our maximum element, right, in here. And then later we decrease the position that y is set as, right? Then we could, once we figure out a progression that we could take up to y, we just add the number of times, uh, add the increment of the progression, the number it would take each time and print that out once we get to y. And then in the end, we just print out the maximum element. We just print 50 plus another 10, 50 plus another 10, which give us 60. So this would actually minimize the maximum element. This would actually minimize the maximum element because we're taking, we're assuming that Y, right? The larger element here that we're given is the maximum, right? And if it's not, well, uh, and then we can't get, create a progression. We're going to decrease Y by the number of spaces it is, right? We decrease, right? We started at, remember, we started as the fifth space here and we decrease it. So now it's at the fourth space. If it still doesn't work, then we decrease again. Third space, second space. And then if it's first space, then that, we, that means that we know we just have to add that number of times increment. But yeah, this basically minimizes the maximum number of times it would take. 
because it, you the maximum element here 60 is as small as, as it could be here right if we're if we're decreasing this number of the the, the y the maximum y uh, the the y, if we assume that y is the maximum possible here and then we decrease it until we get an arithmetic progression the maximum value is not is going to be the minimum possible right do you, you guys want to know what I mean because like if you Let's say like uh, if you started y as in the beginning, then you just add y number of times, right? So like if I had like 20 and I just add y 50, that's 70, and I keep going that number of times, this would be the maximum element, right? Um, this, so in the case if where, fit, where y it's, it gets moved down to the first position that you're at, that would be the maximum that our maximum element could be, right? So if if we're trying to minimize the maximum element of this arithmetic progression, we want to make our y as farthest as possible from the the beginning of x, right? We want to make y as farthest as possible, right? And that would give us an actual arithmetic progression. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Cause like, uh, if if y is like the close, if we add, if y gets closer and closer, right? Like in this case, this case is when y is like cl as close as possible. Cause at the at this point, we're just adding fifty, right? We're just adding y. So this was actually would give us the maximum element, the maximum of max. Because our arithmetic progression at the end is just going to get super duper large. It's like 20 plus, I don't know, 50 times some number of times of five, right? That'll give us, uh, 20, 220, 250, right? That'll give us like 270, right? This end at this end would get too large. 270. So we want to get make sure our y is as farthest away as possible when we create our arithmetic progression, arithmetic sequence. And then once we get to y, by printing out this number of times of incrementing, we just have to increment y that number of times, okay? Until we get to n. So that we just increment y 10 times. Uh, at this point, we just add 10 to get to here. So uh, I hope I, I hope I explained this pretty well here. So I'm just going to explain the code, what I did here now. So what do I do here? Uh, so whenever it's two, I just print out X and Y because that's the least possible we could do. Um, then I take the difference of Y and X, right? Let's take the difference of 50 minus X. So 50 minus 20 would give us 30. So that's what this was for, right? And then I start the maximum space you could be at possible. It's going to be N minus one. So that would be at um, here. At this point, right, and then uh, I just basically just keep decreasing space while it's not divisible by, right. So I, I keep decreasing where my current location is at. So if I'm at like fifty, if I'm at uh, oh, let's clear it again, twenty uh, here. So we have twenty, and then y is fifty. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So if uh, so, I start at the end first. So I said fifty here, and then twenty is there. And then what I do here is I ch keep checking if uh, the difference is divisible by the number of spaces. So the number of spaces that you could do from here is uh, is actually just n minus one, right? Because you start here at the end. This is the n, right? Number of spaces between here and x is going to be since there's there's five spaces here, right? It will just be four, right? One, two, three, four, right? That would be the number of times it would take to, if we're adding an arithmetic progression to n. So that's why I start the spaces equal to n minus one. And then I keep subtracting it when it's not divisible by it, when the difference is not divisible by it, right? Because if the, uh, so like here I get 30, 50 minus 20 is 30, right? And I'm going to, divide by one, two, three, four. And this is not divisible by it, right? So what I do is I subtract my space again by one. So then at this point, 50 is gonna get put down to, 
50 is going to get placed to here. And then I do 50 minus 20 gives me 30. And then I divide by 1, 2, 3, right? Which gives me 10, which is divisible by. And then at that point, I just loop from, I loop from X to Y and I just keep adding 10 that number of times. So I just add by 10, which would give me 30 and 40. And I get, once I get to 50, once I get to 50, um, I keep track of how many elements that I printed out, right? And at this point, I just print out the rest, right? I just print out the rest here. So, um, yeah, I just keep printing out the, the rest of the number of elements it would take. So in this case, I would just add by 10 to get to 60, right? Because there's, there's only one element left. Right. So yeah, that's what this while loop here for is for. So here I kept the number of times of number of elements I printed out. And then, um, while the number is not equal to N, I'm going to increment Y plus, uh, by 10. So here, uh, what I did was in this, if same as I check if is the decrement is less than zero. So the reason why I check decrement is less than zero, because, uh, two, there's two ways you could do it. You could, you could add 10 by the last element here or you could subtract 10 from the smallest element, right? So normally you, it's actually a good idea to subtract 10 from the smallest element. So then you don't have to print out, uh, you could minimize this max element, right? Then 50 would still be remain as your max element. So then, yeah, you would, you would actually subtract 10 from here and then you get like 10 here. But, um, yeah, but if we hit zero, right? If we hit zero, remember we can't have zero here. So if we hit zero, um, you have to add add uh, your increment, add by 10 to your largest element of Y. So that's what I do here, right? So while the number is not equal to N, uh, if I subtract the smallest value of X, remember we assume X is the smallest, and if it's less than or equal to zero, which gets negative, then I just keep adding by Y by 10 and print out Y, right? I keep adding the, lo the last element of Y by 10. So in this case, I would add by 10 to get 60. Um, otherwise, if it's not, then I'm going to subtract the beginning value of X of here by 10, right? And then I just keep incrementing them here. So yeah, that would actually have, that would actually get you your answer, right? Because we're trying to minimize the maximum number of elements. Okay. Um, in this case here in the beginning, if increment is equal to zero, so we get like division by zero. So let's say we, our space is get too much, right? So let's say, let's say it's not divisible by anything, number of spaces. So like, let's say we get, um, let's say it was, this is 20 and then this is like, uh, I don't know, 21, right? And no matter how many times you move 21 down, it's still not going to be divisible, right? One's not going to be divisible by it. It's not going to be divisible. Um, it's not going to be divisible by two. Right, there's no arithmetic progression from 20 to 21 here. So at this point, you get 21 is just right next to it. And uh, your incrementation is actually just going to be, excuse me, you're gonna get a uh, divisible by zero, right? Because your spaces are gonna end up being zero. So I just set it increment to equal X. You could set it equal to Y. It, it doesn't really matter, but basically you're just adding a number that number of times in the end right you're gonna add x by like 21 or 22 or uh you'll, you'll just add 20 by like 21 and keep going in your arithmetic progression right because at this point you exhausted all possibilities of making 21 the larger large, the largest value right so yeah that's what i do here and yeah i just print it out and yeah th that's basically the solution Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. This was a little hard to explain, but basically you're creating arithmetic progression and you want to make uh, set your largest, you minimize the largest value as possible, right? And the largest value as possible, you could do that. Do that, you just set your Y as the largest possible value possible and see if you create a arithmetic progression. If you can't, you just keep moving it downward, downward and downward. If it reaches right next to each other, you're just have, gonna have to add Y. That number of times, right? You just have to add 21 and 22 and stuff like that. And then that will get you your maximum number of elements. But yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. Uh, there might, there is a, I know algorithms thread created another video where he, he brute forced it and he didn't do it mathematically, 
But uh, yeah, if you if you want to brute force it, you could also do that. But I, I wanted to just do it mathematically, try to create an arithmetic progression, because that's basically what I got from this problem. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.